Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 90. I'm calling it Point and Click Game. To do this tutorial, you need to be able to use the drawing tools like the rectangle tool, the fill bucket, the strokes. You've got to be able to use these tools. And if you haven't, there's some tutorials on this YouTube. One is called Flash Basics and the other one is Flash from Scratch or something like that. Those playlists, they can help you learn those drawing tools. I'm going to show you what I have drawn to start with. I have a sky. Here it is, my sky. I then have ground. Ground. And I'm making a cave. Making these sections of rocks. So we're starting. Now to make some room here in my on my timeline, I'm going to click that top layer, come down here, it says new folder. Click that. Call it cave. C A V E. And if you click on these and drag them up into the cave, you'll see they indent. That means they're all going to go in that folder. And then we can click this and that makes that folder out of the way and gives us less clutter. So select the ground layer, insert a layer, call this one Graves, G-R-A-V-E-S, like in gravestones. Lock all the layers, unlock the Graves layer, that's the one we just made, select that first frame, and in here draw yourself a gravestone. There's mine. And uh, what I did was I just used a rectangle with gray fill and uh, then I picked up my selection tool if I was on top and I just got it like got that arch and I pulled it to get that bend up here. Nothing fancy. Uh, copy that. Paste it in place. Oops. paste it in place again and let's put one of them like the whole thing whoops you want to get that extra one in there double click on it drag that one up to there double click on this one drag it down to here and get that rip gotta be in here get this rip if you you got it you probably already got that so I have three graves uh, highlight this one. Make sure you highlight it. You want to get that RIP. Right click. Convert to a symbol. Make sure button is selected here. And call it Grave1. G-R-A-V-E-1 underscore B-T-N. Copy that name. Right click. Copy it. Click OK. Open the properties panel. Grave1. Paste it in for an instance name come down to this one highlight it make sure you get the whole thing right click convert it to a symbol make sure button is selected paste in that grave one and make it grave two btn copy that highlight this one right click convert to a symbol paste it in you got it number three and copy that and paste it in for an instance name. So I got that one and I'll make sure I have that one. I didn't paste this one here in. So this got to be grave, G-R-A-V-E, two underscore B-T-N. So they all have an instance name. You can't write code without an instance name. Lock all the layers. Make sure the Graves layer is selected. Insert a layer. Call this one Keys. K-E-Y-S. More than one key. And make sure that's the only layer that's unlocked. Select the frame one and draw a key. There's my key. It's kind of big, so I'm going to pick up my free transform tool and holding my shift down, making it very small. There's my key. 
Okay. You want three keys, but you want them different. So I'm going to stop, make three keys, and then I'll get back to you. And I have three keys, and there's uh, something that's important about them. Make sure that the center here is filled. It's just easier to pick them up when you're when you're trying to click and drag them. Otherwise, you got to get right in that little part there. So if you fill the center in, it's easier to pick up. And don't have them too big. Make sure they're all different. This one has an up and then an up and down, a down and up and down. So they're all all different. Now, I just want to check my graves for a minute. I believe I called them grave one. Yeah, I call this one grave two. Yep, yeah, see up there, grave two. I double clicked on it. And this one here, grave three. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Lock the graves layer. I'm just checking something. And select one of these keys. Right click, get on it, right click. Convert it to a symbol. This time, movie clip and call it key one, K-E-Y one, shift underscore MC, copy that. Open the properties panel, paste it in. And you can just move that so that it's under, under the grave, see that? This is number two, so we gotta highlight it. Make sure it's all highlighted, because if you just get parts of it, it won't work. So highlight the whole thing. Right click, modify it. Make sure movie clip is selected, and we can paste in what we copied. If not, write in key two underscore MC. Copy that. Open the properties panel, paste it in. Now we're gonna move this one down here. And I'm going to put it right here. It's all right there. It's not a little bit off the stage, but that's no problem. And finally, this one. Right click, modify, paste it in. And make sure it's a three. Copy it. And paste it in for our instance name. And I'm sure I did this one, but I want to check. Yep, okay. So I have all my keys labeled, all have instance names, and all my graves have instance names. Okay. Double click on, I'm on, the only layer that's unlocked is my keys layer. Double click on this key, get on it, double click, and that takes us inside the movie clip. Call this key, K-E-Y, and what I want to do is it's there. I now want to go up to about frame 30 ish and insert a keyframe. Insert a keyframe. And make sure you got your selection tool. Or you can use your arrow keys. I want to move this up just a little bit like that. Just a little bit. Okay. Right click here. Create a classic tween. And we have a tween. All right do that for these two let's go back to scene one double click on this one up to about frame 30 each insert a keyframe i call this key a e y and on frame 30 i'm going to take this and move it up like that all right right click classic tween back to scene one and the same for this one key frame 30 ish insert keyframe and drag it up like that right click classic tween now let's just test this out for a second test movie test and there's our keys good now lock this layer insert layer call it as as an action script as select frame one open the actions panel if you don't have the actions panel here come up here under window and click actions and it will open up and put a stop s s t 
op open close bracket semicolon copy that go up to the final one here insert a keyframe open the actions panel and paste in your stop there we go that's good that's key number three right click copy this layer I'm copying the whole layer open the library and let's do number two now lock this layer right click on it paste layer and I want the action script to be on top if it's not put it on top and here I want you to click if you have if these aren't lined you got one or two things you can click this and drag it up or you can click this and move it back so either way is up to you I'm gonna click that get that fuzzy square and drag it up I'm gonna go now and do number one key number one lock that right click paste the layer and same thing get on that click once get the fuzzy square and drag it over so now when we test it we shouldn't see it move the key should stay still there they are let's go back to the main scene let's open the timeline up and now we're going to write some code to allow them keys to move lock all the layers select the top layer insert a layer call it AS as an action script select that frame one open the actions panel and type 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 this code grave one underscore btn that's that first one we made period add event listener small a capital e capital l that will turn blue open bracket it's a mouse event capital m capital e that turns blue period click C L I C K click is all capital letters comma and I'm calling it grave one that's the name of the function close bracket semicolon function it's calling the function up F U N C T I O N turns purple copy grave one paste it in open bracket event small e v e n t turns blue colon copy mouse event paste mouse event in here close bracket colon void void turns the same color as function there's an open curly bracket and as you start to type you get this closed curly bracket um, I know this works so I'm this here trace grave one would just be to test it while you're building it and uh, to make sure the button works uh, you would see this if you didn't see this then the button wasn't working but you can you can leave that in there if you want it's just a trace and what we're going to do is key one underscore MC that's the movie clip that we made for that first key period go to and play small G small T capital A capital P that all turns blue open bracket to close bracket semicolon and here's the close curly bracket for the function control test movie test and when I click on it that moves all right let's copy this And highlight it get it all right click copy it click here put a couple enters paste it in and where you see this one put a two put a two here put a two here put a two here and put a two here click there a couple more enters paste it in again make this a three make this a three sometimes you can miss these and you'll be told three three so now let's test this out and make sure all three keys can be risen that's a word and they all work now let's keep track let's go to the very top click here a couple enters arrow up key two forward slashes I'm just gonna put a comment here um, graves G R graves and P I C K up keys so the keys go up so I know that that part is working let's go down to the bottom here couple enters two forward slashes D R A G drag and drop D R O P keys so that's the next thing we're going to do. OK. 
Okay, right after this line, put a couple enters and type, type, type this code. Key one underscore MC, that's the key that raised for grade one, period. Add event listener, mouse event. That you could copy from up here up to this point here, right to there. You can copy that and paste it in. Period, mouse underscore down, all uppercase, all capitals. Comma, recall this drag key one, capital D, capital K. Close bracket semicolon. It's a function, turns purple. Copy drag key one, paste it in. Open bracket, event, E-V-E-N-T. I think you could go up here and copy this mouse events, exactly the same thing with the close bracket colon and the void, okay? Then we have an open bracket for the fun an open curly bracket for the function, and as you start typing, this closed curly bracket usually comes in. Key one underscore MC, you can copy it from here. Period, start, drag, small s, capital D, turns blue, open close bracket semicolon, and there's the close curly bracket. Now, this was what sometimes people miss. I want here stage, S-T-A-G-E, small s, turns blue. Then you can go up here and copy this, this line here, right to there, copy it, except down here, change it to mouse up and change drag here to drop okay you can copy this if you want and paste it in so it's function this time drop key one this is the same this is the same this is the same there's the open curly bracket for the drop there's the closed curly bracket for the drop, and you could copy this and paste it in, except it's stop drag, small s. All right, so let's see if number one works. Test movie test. I click on it, it comes up, and I can click it and drag it, and I can leave it go. It's got to move it because it's on top. It's got to be on top of the rocks here. Okay. I'm going to just pull my action panel open. Click here, go right up to there, right click, copy all that. Click here, two or three enters, paste it. And this is where I'm doing the stop drag. And this is where I'm starting my new, new drag for my new key. So I'll make this one a two. Make this a two, a two, and a two. Make this a two, a two, and a two. Click here. Don't miss any, I don't think. Two or three enters. Paste it in again. And this time make this a three. Three, three, three. It's easy to make a mistake doing this. Three, but it will, be, it will warn me. Three. I'm just going to do a quick format. No obvious errors. Control, test, movie, test. I got them, clicked them all dragging up. And then I can move this one and drop it, move this one and drop it, move this one and drop it. And now I got to make sure my keys are on top of my caves in my timeline. Open my timeline. Click my keys layer and drag it up above the cave that's enough for this video there's going to be a follow-up it'll be flash tutorial request 91 point and click game part two plan on doing that make sure you save this fla hope you learned something from this video and i hope you use what you learn